everyone, my name is Valerie and I am the Outreach Coordinator for Future Energy Systems. Thanks so much for joining us for Storytime this week. We're going to be reading Green Machine, The Slightly Gross Truth About Turning Your Food Scraps into Green Energy. And it's written by Rebecca Donnelly and illustrated by Christophe Jacques. Food grows and food goes from the farm to the town, to the market, the kitchen, the plate. We meet and we eat. When we're done, there's a mound of the scraps left from all that we ate. We pick out slick pits, crunchy husks, chewed on cobs, empty pods, stringy stalks, and bruised fruit. They sit in the bin in a soft, soggy blob till the truck picks them up on its route. Call it peels on wheels or a truck full of yuck. It's a food scraps collection machine. It takes all the waste and some slime and some muck to a place where the garbage goes green. A place where the waste isn't wasted. A tank with the power to power our town where trash becomes gas and good riddance that stank. That's the power of food breaking down. Inside this vast tank is a puddle of sludge, a wet mess, goopy, sewery soup. It's airtight in there, no oxygen for these bugs, tiny microbes that eat food plus poop. Machines grasp and glean trash that's not the right type, bits of plastic and metal and junk. What's left is ground down so it slides through the pipes to combine with the rest of the gunk. Just add the scraps, could that odor get any worse? And some liquid to mix them all in. The bugs in the sludge do their slow, murky work. Anaerobic digestion begins. The goop stays for days in the tank in the dark while the biogas forms bubble blub. Gas feeds the engine to generate sparks, electricity made from old grub. It flies through the wires making light, making heat. We gather in gathering dusk, celebration again. We meet and we eat. When we're finished, we gather the husks. Follow the food energy. Compost composted food scraps are collected and transported to a processing plant. Food scraps are cleaned of garbage and ground up. Mixed with liquid, the food scrap sludge goes into the anaerobic digester where bugs get to work. Biogas is produced and captured in the tank. The gas travels through a pipe from the tank to a generator where it is processed to make electricity. Electricity is fed into the energy grid available to make light, heat, and power homes. So now we have some extra information at the end of this book. I'm just going to turn it towards myself. Why do we need green energy? We need energy for many things in our lives. Lighting, heating, cooking, running our appliances and electronics, and lots more. We can get that energy from non-renewable sources, such as coal and natural gas, which are limited and will eventually run out. Or from renewable sources, such as wind, sun, water, and biogas, which are naturally replenished. By using renewable or green energy, we can make sure that there's plenty of resources now and in the future. Biogas is a particularly useful energy source because it comes from food and farm waste, keeping the material out of our landfills. When food waste breaks down in a landfill, it releases methane, a gas that contributes to climate change. By capturing methane in an anaerobic digester, we can keep it out of the atmosphere and put it to work. How anaerobic digestion works. In anaerobic digestion, microbes in an airless environment convert materials from plants and animals into biogas, a mixture of methane and carbon dioxide. 
This process happens naturally in bogs, oceans and lake bottoms, landfills, even cows' digestion tracts. In a man-made digester, anaerobic digestion takes place in a sealed tank, where the microbes break down food, manure, and other organic matter. The microbes need a warm and oxygen-free environment to create the biogas, which is turned into energy. Biogas can be used just like natural gas, propane, or any other kind of fuel. It can be burned directly for heating or cooking, or it can be burned in an engine that generates electricity. Types of anaerobic di digesters. Food waste. Food waste digesters make biogas using food scraps from restaurant kitchens, grocery stores, and other places that handle food. These digesters often use the energy they produce to operate without producing enough energy for other uses. Their main job is to keep food waste out of landfills, although if they are large enough, they can produce extra biogas too. You couldn't power your home just from the food waste your family makes, but when you start bringing together a whole, a whole community's food scraps, it adds up. A digester that runs on food waste will produce more electricity per pound of scraps than one that runs on farm waste or wastewater from towns. That's because food contains more energy than waste, about three times as much according to one study. Think about it. Manure is basically food that's been digested once through an animal's digestive system or your own. Some of that energy has already been used as fuel for your body. Farm waste. Digesters at farms mainly process manure, although crops and food waste can be added to the mix. Farm digesters vary in size. The more cows or other animals a farm has, the larger the digester needs to be to handle all that manure. The leftover liquid from anaerobic digestion can be used to fertilize fields, and the solids can be used as animal bedding. Municipal waste. When you run your faucets or flush your toilets, the water, along with everything else, goes into the sewer and then to a wastewater treatment plant. Many wastewater treatment plants use microbes to break down the solid solids in the wastewater. That's poop. But the biogas is often burned off, not harnessed as energy. Some cities are trying to figure out how to convert all that energy into electricity. Some municipal digesters even take food scraps. The, the digester in this book is based on this type. Thanks so much everybody for joining us for Green Machine this week. We learned a lot about food waste and how we can generate electricity from that. Make sure to check out the activities below to expand your knowledge beyond this book, and we'll see you next week. Bye! Thank you so much for watching Future Energy Systems video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our exciting content. Check out the links below to our website and learning page where you can find activities, learning extension, and more. You can also sign up on the website for notifications for future videos and interactive opportunities. There's so much to learn as we explore our energy future.